I'm here in Adobe Illustrator. My version is a little bit more up to date than the version we have at school, but it's similar enough that I think it'll make sense um, for you to follow along. So I'm going to make a new file and I'm just going to go ahead and make it for the web. Your options will look a little bit different, but find the one that says web from the drop down. Choose the size. It doesn't really matter. You can make it too big and then resize it later and create it. And then here's the idea. This is the most important thing you'll be working with over here, this little stack of tiles that's called layers if you hover over it. You're going to want to make things on different layers. If you isolate items on layers and you name them, then you can grab them with your CSS and animate them later. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a smiley face. Um, there's some stuff over here. Your default one of these is going to be set to rectangle. If you lean on the rectangle shape, it'll show you all the other shapes that are available. Um, and you want to kind of build stuff to turn into SVGs out of basic shapes because if you do anything too complex, it doesn't render very well. So I'm going to choose ellipse and I'm going to go up here to set my color um, to yellow because I'm going to make a smiley face and I'm just going to draw the uh, back of our smiley face. If I hold down shift, just like with all the Adobe products, it will constrain to a circle and it will be nice and even. And so that's on my first layer. I'm going to make another layer, um, so there's a little thing, it looks like a post-it note right here, create new layer, and I'm going to draw um, an eye for this guy, and I'm going to unselect my yellow circle right now so it doesn't turn it white, but I want the background color of the eye to be white, and then I'm going to draw it right here, grab this guy, hold down shift again, and I'm going to give it a pupil, so I'm going to unselect it, and I'm going to draw a pupil with black. And make a circle right here, and then I'm just going to nudge it so it's lined up in the middle with the arrow keys. Okay, and I'm going to bring it, um, I'm actually going to copy it, and I'm going to make a new layer and paste it there. And then I'm going to position these things on this face, so it looks kind of like a smiley face. Bring this over. Okay. So drawing and getting stuff on different um, areas is important, but naming these things is the most important part. So over here I've got um, my different layers that currently default to numbered things. That's not going to be helpful when I want to style stuff in CSS. So I'm going to name this yellow part um, face. And the rules for naming these are they should be all lowercase and have no spaces um, and be le letters basically. I'm going to call um, this guy, actually I can't tell which one it is, let me select this and try to figure it out. Um, I think this layer is the left eye, left eye, and this guy is the right eye. And then I'm actually going to click the little arrow because it's going to show me the separate shapes. And I want to name those because I'm going to make the pupil like float around when I hover. So I'm going to call this, um, let's see, let's call this guy right black and right white and then open up the left eye same thing this is left black and left white so i have my um, my eyes as whole pieces and i have my pupil and my white of my eye separate so i can animate those parts distinctively um, when i export this as an svg but there's one more step i want to do before i export it and that is, um, this is a lot of canvas behind this thing, and if I export it right now, it's going to keep this giant background that's not really there for any reason. So I'm going to go to Object and choose Artboards and fit the artwork to bounds, and it'll clip it down for me. And then I'm going to go and do a file save as... And I don't want this to save as a, a, a native um, Adobe Illustrator file, which is .ai. I want to change it to .svg. And I'm just going to call it Smile and save and it'll ask me some options uh, you can just go with 1.1 that's fine say okay okay and then i'm going to go in my brackets i have a little basic web page set up here but i got to go open the svg file and what it's done is it's turned my uh my artwork let's see what we call this smile it's turned my artwork into some rendered code um but it gives you some extra stuff um, that you don't really, you don't need all this like doc type stuff. So you're going to grab the tag starting at SVG and down to the closing SVG tag. And you're going to copy that and you're going to move it onto your web page. Um, and what you'll see is what I named those layers 
have become IDs in this code. So here's my ID face, my ID left eye, left white, left black, right eye, right white, right black, and that's going to let me grab these things in CSS and animate them.